Uh, good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth channel. Bible teaching with Jeff DeLoach. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we come before you with a humble and contrite spirit, ready to learn, ready to be taught your ways, your will, your paths. We want to follow your light. We want to know you because you are our creator. And when we know you better, we know ourselves better. We praise you, we worship you, we honor you, we bow before you, we cast our crowns at your feet for all the wonderful royal things that you've done and will continue to do. You are our King, you are our Lord, you are our God. We love you, we praise you, we thank you. Amen. <clears throat> You're welcome. <clears throat> So in the last video, <clears throat> I um set it up. That was that was the setup video. That was the prelude, and so I was pontificating on the histrionic reality of some of the things in the Bible and what that means. Um. Probably as you get deeper into the Bible, you'll realize that when you get hung up on the literal, historical theme, through line of this book, you will become more confused and you will be going down paths and trails that lead into fields of poison ivy and vipers and we want to think of the Bible as literal in, in some regards. It's it's okay to say, yeah. Um the chosen people were led out of Egypt. But what does that mean? What's the meaning? You can attach a lot of meanings to it if you are some psychotic, Machiavellian, power-hungry fool and make up all kinds of reasons why that's part of the Bible. Why is that such a big part of the Bible? The prophet said over and over again, the God who led you out of Egypt and set you free from your slavery... What's the meaning? What does that mean? Well, on the one hand, it means that God chooses who he chooses. Because we see throughout the Bible, Israel was one of his biggest um, vexations due to their rebelliousness and their stubbornness and just their stupidity. They were a bunch of stupid asses. Um, so, on the one hand, what's that teaching us? That we're stupid. Even his chosen people, he chose the stupid. Why? Why did he choose? Why did he choose the dumbest people? Because he wanted to show us that he loves who he chooses. So when he chooses you, do you have to be the perfect child? No. You just have to be his child. Believe me, as an Israelite, I know these things. That's why my relationship with him means so much is because it fits the context of the Bible. And he told me I was of Benjamin of Judah 25 years ago. I didn't know what that meant then. I didn't know the deeper context. I'm one of these fools. I'm one of these Israelite fools. I'm one of these idiots. So that's part of the story. Another part of the story is 
we're enslaved by our own seeking for comfort, seeking for peace, seeking for the the they were enslaved. They were hard labor. They were they were being controlled, just like we're being controlled now by these governments. They've got us. COVID was like a big fucking slap in the face. These fuckers can do whatever the fuck they want. Do you think any sane person would say Ukraine and Russia should be murdering each other right now? Do you think any sane person would say that Israel should be bulldozing the people in Gaza and and slaughtering them and starving them out and torturing them? Do you think any normal person would say, yeah, cool. They're evil. You know, people come up with all these reasons why, oh, we got to take care of evil. Evil doesn't submit to, to good until God gets here. So they're, we're going to get fucked. We're, we're everyone, these rapture people. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to, I'm not going to have to put up with the tribulation, dude. You're not in tribulation already. You see what's going on in this earth and you don't get it. Whoa, it's going to get a lot worse. It's, it's stupid already. It's anyway, let me move on. So what's this vengeance? In the last video we went into Psalm 94, vengeance belongs to the Lord. Why do I not why do I not point fingers as far as as far as people's behavior in the world? Because whatever they do in the world is their business. That's why Jesus told whoever asked the questions about the money. And he said, render to Caesar what's Caesar's, and render to the Lord what's the Lord's. He was making a very poignant emphasis on the difference between what goes on out here and what goes on in here. So this vengeance, this this revenge that the Lord's going to take on people that don't have the correct spirit. See, God already knows who has his spirit and who doesn't. It's not. To him, he could see the wheat from the tear. No problem. He knows who he is. And you know what's funny is, being that I know who he is, I'm starting to understand that theme about the differences between who's holding a bag full of Caesar's coins and who's holding a bag full of God's coins. The bags look the same. The coins might look the same, but it's they're completely different. So this is another theme that we're, that I would bring up is that he knows already who he's going to give shit to. He knows who he's going to give knowledge to. He knows he knows how to make you dumb. Or prideful or greedy or whatever gluttonous all these things. So anyway, let me read. Um, vengeance belongs to the Lord. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs. Oh God, to whom vengeance belongs. Twice he says it. Show yourself What's David crying for? I want to know you're there. Please let me know you're there. And then in verse 2 he says, Lift up yourself, you judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. You might look at me and say, Oh, he's pretty proud. He's arrogant. He says he's close to God. He's, he's one of the tribes of Benjamin. And blah, blah, blah. He knows the Bible better than everyone else. I try not to make you feel like I got anything that you can't have. I'm not above 
a servant a servant is going to work through the bullshit and try and, and try and make it right and so the only reason I go into these things continually is because I I want people to get knowledge of God I want them to know their creator get it show yourself show yourself to these people when he comes and he shows himself oh boy there's going to be a lot of gnashing of teeth Lord how long shall the wicked how long shall the wicked triumph twice again he says it how long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves Workers of iniquity boast themselves. How long shall they speak lame things? What is it? Um, insolent, stupid things. Why are they? Why are they so insolent? Why are they so unlearned? How can they be so so off? Right. Um. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. So, heritage, heritage, heritage. What's our heritage? Our heritage is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you're, if you're a Christian, or a Jew, or even a Muslim, um, that's a good example of how people have misinterpreted the Bible. You have Jews, Christians, Muslims. They all believe in the book. They're all children of Abraham. But do they all believe the same thing? They wanted to make something for their people. Their people. All people are our people. People? No, they're not our people. That's why we're killing those people in Gaza. They're not our people. They're Muslims. Really? Really? They break in pieces thy people, verse 5, Psalm 94. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. Heritage, heritage. Where did we come from? What, who, where are we going? What, what's our goal? What are we seeking? Show yourself, Lord, show yourself. Um, our heritage is to trust God. Our heritage is to sing praises to him every day. Our heritage is to take sacrifice to show people the Lord sacrificed for us. We can sacrifice for each other. For each other. That's why we don't kill each other, lie to each other, stab each other in the back, arrest people for no good reason. Oh, key, key. All of it. All that nonsense. This place is hell. Because people have been afflicted and turned away from their heritage. I should look that word up, heritage. That's your... Um, uh, that's your ancestry. Your ancestri ancestral knowledge and wisdom, heritage. I'm going to go on. But they break in pieces thy people. These people that are talking shit are causing problems. No one will just sit down, cut the nonsense, and, and say, you know, it really doesn't make sense that we say that Joseph is the father of Jesus. It just doesn't make sense. How could that be? Why would corruption, how could corruption be our God? Because they're corrupted, and they stand by that. GMS, Black Hebrew Israelism. It's sickness. It's sad. It's it's niggardly. It's fucked up. Anyway, they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Who's the stranger? Hi. <laughs> I need a friend. <laughs> Besides God. He, he, he's not he's not standing for it he's like nope you're with me um, they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless what are they doing they're they're getting the heathens the the Gentiles the Gentiles are the strangers 
the widows are the ones that same thing they didn't come from the line so they're lost out here so the people that are already lost instead of bringing them into the temple into the sanctuary into truth they're setting up shop and bringing people into a even more dangerous they're bringing them into cemeteries they're they're killing them they're slaying slaying them They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Who's the fatherless? They're the ones that don't have the Heavenly Father. See, people have... Oh, that means some some woman who lost her husband is a widow. And the fatherless is the one whose dad ran away on him. And No, 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 no. They ain't spiritual. That's why... That's where we're all lost. People are reading the Bible way too literal and not spiritual they have a bag full of caesar's coins and they're going flicking them thinking they're somebody understand you brutish among the people and you fools when will you be wise so let me make a point real quick about this channel i'm not the easiest guy to, to sit and watch. That's part of the that's part of the channel. I'm supposed to be off putting. That's who I am. I'm not God made me this way. He's like, I'm gonna give you so much, but no one's gonna listen to you. And I've had to deal with that. I'll I'll deal with that forever. I'm always gonna have more than I can give. And I'm not gonna know how to do it because he's not gonna let me do it. Maybe at some point. But I've been doing this for three years now or something like that. I don't even, I lost track. And we only have 310 subscribers. Goes to show what's going on out here. I, you don't have to look at me. You just listen to what I'm saying. The value is in the bread I'm giving you. Oh, anyway, understand you brutish among the people. Brutish is senseless. <clears throat> nonsense. I say it all the time. What's going on out here? A bunch of fucking nonsense. People, most people don't want to just sit down and calm themselves down and go, what's the deeper meaning here? And that's why they're brutish and senseless. They don't, their shit don't make sense. Why are you talking about GMS? Why are you talking about the United States becoming the lake of fire? Dudes. Yeah. You seen that movie with Linda Hamilton when the nuclear explosion goes off and she's holding on to the fence. Ha 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 ha. That's what's going to happen on in America. Ha 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 ha. This place is going to be a lake of fire. Completely destroyed. Really? You think so? You're telling people that? All right. Understand you brutish, senseless among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Who are we supposed to be looking for, and who are we supposed to be listening for? God. God. He's the one that created the eye and the ear. So when I say I'm a poet and I look at the world, I listen to what the world is saying and I look at what the world is doing. That's where I understand. When it comes to personal relationships, I don't expect people to be lying, deceiving, cheating, being cruel, mean, and all that, I I can't believe I'm so smart about the world, but so dumb about people. I've been fucked by people in the most... Anyway, let's move on. He that chasteneth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? 
I know. I know what God wants you to know. He made me a certain type. The reason there's prophets and teachers, the reason there was these, they're not, not everyone's a prophet, not everyone's a teacher, not, Because some people are closer to daddy than others. And they're closer to brother than others. They, it's just that way. He, That's why it is the way it is. And being no one's going to listen. They didn't listen to Jesus. They didn't listen to Moses. They didn't listen to Jeremiah. They didn't listen to Isaiah. They didn't listen. The reason you know I'm real is because no one's listening. He that chastens the heathen, those are the nations, shall not he correct? He that teaches man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. What's that? Vanity is senselessness. It's nonsense. Men are nonsensical. They are senseless. Sorry. When it comes to this book and who God is, oh, we are so disconnected. The Lord knows the thoughts of man that they are vanity, they are futile. So if you think about the rapture and you think about the lake of fire and you think about the Bible, you're thinking, your thoughts, your thoughts are futile. He knows exactly who you are. He knows exactly who you are. That's why, that's why you can't repent. That's why the only thing you repent from is thinking that you know something. And thinking that you can do anything. He's telling you right here. You can't even think your way out of a fucking paper bag. You feeling me? Is what he's saying. Are you feeling me? Man. This is frustrating. I'll tell you. I don't have patience for childlike Mind thoughts. Blessed is the man whom thou chasten, O Lord, and teachest him out of the law. Who, what do we want? We want the Lord to bring someone to us and go, you're all fucked up. You got a problem. You're not right. We want that. Why aren't we looking for that? Why are, why are people so proudful, prideful and arrogant that, they don't want to have a conversation. They don't, they want to believe what they want to believe. <clears throat> Even though it's not what God wants them to believe. Blessed is the man whom thou chastens, O Lord, and teachest him out of the law that thou may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Till these fuckers all die. Go to the grave. Get out of here. Do you like wicked people? There's a difference between a mean, spirited, ornery person and a wicked, unrighteous person. See, I'm mean, spirited, and ornery, and temperamental. But I'm honest and I'm not wicked. I'm, I'm a righteous person because I know these things about myself. What's a wicked person? Someone who's like, no, I'm all good. I'm, I'm going to rapture. I'm, I got it going on, baby. I'm not going to be left here with all these weak-ass sinners. That's, that's wickedness. 
that's anyway that thou may give him rest from the days of adversity that's where we're at we, we need some relief and tell the pippy dig for the wicked verse 14 psalm 94 for the lord will not cast off his people neither will he forsake his inheritance what do i say all the time all the time all the time once saved always saved i'm a fucking israelite what am i going to ride on that promise he's not going to cast me away fuck you tony williams fuck you up your fucking nigga ass you fucking wicked motherfucker. You don't know the Bible well enough to teach a third grade fucking Bible study, dude. People need to just leave it alone. If all these excess baggage would just go away and let someone who knows what's going on teach. For the Lord will not cast off his people. He will not abandon. I'm not going to be abandoned. That's why I do this, because I know I'm good enough. He, he loves me, even if I'm a hungry, mean fucking prick. Get it? But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Where's, let me see what I got. Oh, I got to go. I'm going to come back, because this is, I haven't taught for a couple weeks, so I'm catching you up. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I love you guys. Bible teaching with Jeff DeLoach. I'm out.